Have you ever looked at life and thought, is this it? Is this like really my life? Is, is this really it? And whatever happened to my dreams, my goals, the things I wanted to do in life? Is this really it? Somebody please tell me this is not it. Perhaps you've wondered if you're too late to really live the life you desire and you question whatever happened to my dreams. What about the goals that I set for myself? What has happened to me? Well, if you have, you're not alone. And I want to invite you to stick around as we dive in deep to relight our flame and reclaim our joy by overcoming the pain and the regrets of the past. So text call or email a friend and let her know it's time for a time to win podcast welcome to time to win podcast where healing and growth collide with purpose and you get to heal grow and prosper i'm your host rj jackson join me as we take a graceful 90 degree turn from stress and struggling to purpose and prosperity As a professional impact speaker and mindset coach, I'm here to show you the way out of secretly suffering in silence and help you get back on the path of prosperity because I firmly believe that you were born to prosper. So if you're ready, let's make that shift. It's time to win, my friend. So let's go fight win. Yes, girl, it's time. It's time to shine bright like a diamond. Yes, it is. So welcome back to Time to Win Podcast. I am RJ Jackson, your mindset coach and speaker for your next event, here to help you reset your mindset, reclaim your joy, and walk in your purpose. Today, like I always say, we're diving in deep to a topic that hits home for so many of us as women, overcoming regret. We're going to talk about making boss moves to overcome regret and reignite the flame within. So are you ready? (laughs) All right. Well, if you're ready, girl, let's just go ahead and dive in. Perhaps you feel like you're constantly juggling responsibilities and barely able to keep your head above the water. I mean, your job, while it's stable, it really doesn't ignite your passion. You might be managing a household and relationships, but really, you feel like you're just going through the motions. Maybe everything seems fine. But inside, mm, girl, it's a different story. You're feeling overwhelmed by the daily demands. You, You think there's no time left. After doing all that you do, you think there's no time left for your dreams. And then you find yourself putting everyone else's needs before your own. Mm-hmm. There's a storm brewing. You are plagued by the relentless voice asking. What if, what if I had gone after my dream job? What if I had taken that risk? Yes, these are questions. Questions creating a grueling sense of frustration and the feeling of being stuck. You know what I'm talking about? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you feeling frustrated and stuck? Do you think you missed your chance to live your dreams? Do you find yourself doubting your abilities and your worth? Well, if that's you, listen up. Because I want you to know no one deserves to live like that. Girl, you deserve to live fulfilled, excited, and passionate about your life. And you're probably thinking, yes, I do, RJ. But how do I do it? How do I get there? How do I move past 
all of this regret filling up my heart and how do I start living the life I truly deserve? Well, I'm glad you're here. I asked myself that same question at one point or another. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it so we could be about it. Let's talk about some practical steps that I took, I encourage my clients to take, and that you can take to reignite the flame and pursue the life you desire and get this girl. Because this is the part you have a hard time believing. And you deserve. Well, what makes you think I deserve it, RJ? Well, God said he knows the plans that he has for you. And they are plans for a future and a hope. They are plans to succeed and not fail. He also declares that he desires for you to prosper and be well. So your well-being matters to him. He wants to see you win. That's why I say you deserve it. And that's why it's important for you to believe you deserve it. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the practical steps so you can reignite the flame. Because now all you can see is the smoke from the pain of the past. So here's what I I want you to do. And I promise you, these are steps that I took, especially after my accident. When I laid there thinking, perhaps it's over. Like, maybe I'm done. I'm getting older anyhow. But then I had a wake up call. I literally woke up and started dreaming. Dreaming about the possibility of fulfilling the dreams that made my heart beat. And here's what I did. First and foremost, I stopped being afraid to admit what I wanted. You see, I had become afraid to say, but I still want this to happen because it didn't look like it was going to happen. Matter of fact, I couldn't even talk. So what was I thinking about wanting to speak all over the world again and to inspire women around the world again? I couldn't even talk to women. But in my heart, I wanted to do what I was born to do. I wanted to do what I dreamt of doing. I wanted to finish what I started. And I had to first and foremost, stop being afraid to admit what I wanted. Often we shy away from our true desires because we're worried about what other people might think. So let me help you out. It's time to own your dreams and start by writing down everything you truly want. Write it down without fear of what people will say and think, if you will accomplish it or not, or without worrying about what happened in the past and thinking it's going to happen again. It's over. Done with. It's a new day. New chapter. New page. Admit what you want. Right now. Today. Start by writing it down. I'm telling you, it turned the light bulb on for me and it helped me make the next boss move. What's the next boss move? The very thing I want to share with you. The boss move step that you can take to get past your regret and reignite your flame and live the life you desire and deserve. Step number two, review your goals and pick one to start with. Look at that list that you just created. Those goals that you are thinking about those dreams that you have. Review them, look over them, look through them, imagine them, and then choose one that resonates with you. Matter of fact, choose the top three that resonates with you the most. And from the top three, focus on one goal to start with. Make it your priority. Make it such a priority that it sparks the life in you. So here's what we got so far. We're going to stop being afraid because everything you want is on the other side of fear. You're going to admit what you want. That's number one. Number two, you're going to look at what you said you wanted. You're going to review the goals that you just wrote down. You're going to pick your top three and then you're going to pick your main one to focus on. 
because that's the one you're going to start with and you're going to make it a priority. Now, here's the third step. I'm going to give you the step and I'm going to invite you to go back and listen to a previous podcast that explains it in detail. And I'll put the link below so that you can go back when we're finished with this one. So step number three is create a SMART, S-M-A-R-T goal for the number one priority goal that you just selected. And then find support to help you work on and accomplish that goal. So here's what I'm saying. You want to take the goal that you just selected from your list. And you want to turn it into a SMART goal. So what's a SMART goal? A SMART goal is one that is specific. It's measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So you're going to say exactly what you want because you're no longer afraid to admit what you want. You're going to make sure the goal is measurable. It has a time frame to it or an amount to it, that it really is achievable, it's not something that's so far-fetched, and that is relevant and relatable to you and who you are and your purpose. And finally, you're going to make sure it's time-bound. And what we mean by time-bound is you're going to say by when. So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to lose weight. So instead of making the goal, I'm going to lose weight, you're going to be very clear on what you want. It's going to be measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. So here's what it looks like. Instead of saying, I want to lose weight, you're going to say, I'm going to lose 20 pounds by December 31st so I can feel healthier and move better. All right? You said exactly what you're going to do. I'm going to lose weight. And then you measured it out. I'm going to lose 20 pounds. You made it achievable. You didn't say I'm going to lose 100 pounds in a week. You you made it achievable and time bound when you said by December 31st. So you gave yourself enough time to lose that weight. You didn't go for some miracle performing activity but you knew you had to put the work in and it was going to take time and you gave yourself time to do it. And then you made it relevant. What's it relevant to? What does it mean to you? Well, when I lose 20 pounds, I'll be healthier. I'll be able to move more. I'll be more active. I'll feel better. And of course, we all know when you feel good, you do good, right? So that's what we mean by making it a smart go. So you're going to pick the goal and then you're going to turn it into a smart goal. But you're not going to stop there. No, 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 no. We're not going to stop there. There's another part to step number three. Because remember, we were created for connection and we need each other to survive. So now you're going to partner with people who can support you on the journey. You don't have to do this alone. It's so important that you surround yourself with those who will uplift you and encourage you and give you information that causes transformation. Like, so you won't keep doing the same thing over and over again and getting the same results because we have a word for that. It's called insanity, right? If you don't know what you don't know, then you'll keep doing what you do. And what you do is giving you the results that you're getting. It's a new day. (laughs) It's time to reignite the flame. We need a new match. Because we just keep hitting that old match against the board. And it's just not working. You know what I'm talking about? You ever try to light a match and you just keep hitting it. And it just sparks and sparks. But it never catches on fire. That's how some of us are living our life. We need a new book of matches. And that means we need new people to surround us and encourage us and impart wisdom into us and empower us to do better and be better. And that, my friend, is exactly why I created the 90-Day Boss Moves Bliss Experience. And guess what? We got one coming up. Yes, we do. September 1st is the kickoff for the journey 
of the 90 day boss mood bliss experience and this is an opportunity for you to get supported because i created it to help support you and see your way through the tough days of finishing strong so that you can not only set the goal but you can accomplish the goal and for some of you you are struggling with setting the goal but don't worry i got you because this is where i come in my friend this is what the 90 day boss move bliss is all about now you want to go to IamRJJackson.com and that link will be below or in my bio or in the description, depending on how you're checking out the podcast today. But don't worry, I'm going to give you the link because I want to see you win. Now, here's what you want to do. You want to go to the link and click on it because on August 21st, We are having our 90-day Boss Move launch party. And you want to be in it to win it, my friend. Because by September 1st, we are on the train. We are not opening the door anymore. As a matter of fact, we have limited enrollment. And it's open to a limited amount of people because we believe in doing things intentionally and intimately so that you aren't lost in the crowd but you get personalized attention the attention you need in order to succeed so we want to see your face in the space because you deserve to be in the room with people who care to see you win so repeat after me i deserve to win i am worthy of my dreams. I have the power to achieve my goals. And today, I choose to take one boss move step forward. And yes, you are worthy of your dreams and you have the power to achieve your goals. I like the way Oprah Winfrey summed it up. She said, the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. So let's make some boss moves. Let's stop being afraid to admit what we want. Let's pick a goal that we're gonna start with and let's make it a smart goal and then find people to partner with us in our purpose so that we can reignite the flame and overcome the regret and the pain of the past. So let me just remind you that you are bold, and courageous. You have the power to achieve your goal and you are worthy of your dreams. So let's go. Let's go fight win. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the top. So it's time to reset your mindset, reclaim your joy, and walk in your purpose. Don't forget, stay connected, subscribe to the podcast, And let's journey together. It's time to go from overthinking to overflowing, from weary to winning. It's time to win, my friend. So let's make some boss moves together. Check out the 90-day boss moves bliss experience. And let's just go do the thing. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to Time to Win. I recognize that you appreciate the value provided in today's episode. And for your gratitude, I'm giving you a Time to Win VIP listener badge. So head on over to timetowinpodcast.com. That's timetowinpodcast.com. And claim your badge and gain immediate VIP access to more of our next level resources and opportunities, including details on the huddle, a table for 10, the cure circle, and the cure retreat. Because you've enjoyed today's session, you can also express your gratitude by rating, reviewing, and returning next week with a friend. Oh.
By the way, be sure to screenshot today's episode and share it in your Instagram and Facebook story or on your favorite social media platform. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week in the locker room of life here on Time to Win. And remember, the best time to win is now.